Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, and I'm back with my first project done in my new craft space. So anyway, um, there's just a couple things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, and of course, I did this all polka doodle style because ugh, I'm just obsessed with polka doodles. But anyway, I, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> God bless me. Thank me. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I can never sneeze once. Is anybody else like that? It's either three or more. Never just one. Anyhow. So I purchased this die from Tonic Studios in a D stash that I got from Tina, who is crafty being here on YouTube. And guys, I absolutely love this. This is truly why. Well, it's not why I purchased it, but it's a big reason why I purchased the D stash. So as you can see, this card has like little pictures in here. Um, and this is the actual die. So I, of course, had to do it, Winnie, my Winnie's. So I made this card. It's the first one line card. Um, so I used all of the little Winnie's that I could find. And I believe these are from Winnie's Sugar Sprinkles Digitals on, um, their site. So as always, guys, you know, I leave all the information in the description bar. So please go check them out. I will leave the site for polka doodles. Um, you know, everything. They have Facebook groups. Nikki has, um, tutorials on how you download and print the, um, digitals. So please check it out. Use the information in my description bar. I promise you it is a great, great tool and you will learn a lot. Um, and you can find anything that you're looking for. And if for some reason you're looking for something that you can't find, please hit me up. I will let you know if I don't have the answer, I will find it for you. So anyway, I made this card using the Winnie's and I love the way it turned out. Um, again, there's a lot of pieces to this. You don't have to use all the pieces. If you don't want to, you can just use this part, which is the, um, the frame part. So I just cut out the word love and then put you on it. So it just says love you, which I love. And then you open it up and I stamped life is sweeter when shared with friends. And then obviously my stamp on the back. So that is that. That is my card. Um, polka doodle style. So I, again, I'm loving, loving, loving this die. I'm going to do, um, my sister and my brother's birthdays have both passed, but we're doing a party for them um, this coming month. So I'm going to make them cards using this die and I will definitely come back on and show you, um, every year throughout the year, I am constantly using this die, um, from polka doodles and it's the, the bear. OMG guys. I love this polar bear. He is so cute or she is so cute. Um, so of course I had to do them up in Jenny style. <laughs> so these are just, um, like not plain paper, but plain cardstock with like a little design on it. So I did him and then I did him or her, whichever you want to say. And of course my purples did the purples and I love, absolutely love. I may have showed these in a video a while back. Um, and if I did, I apologize, but I love them. I do. And I just, and I love the way these white and black ones came out. I think they are adorable. Um, so yeah, I just had to show these again because I, I put a few more together. Um, but yeah, loving how that one came out. And then we've got this one. These. So yeah, those are my polar bears. And then these guys. Okay, so these are the bottle cap. I, this is a die I have in my stash. Um, and of course I had to use the polka doodles, um, gingerbread Christmas digital. <laughs> so as always, I will leave everything listed below. And what I did was I just, I probably, I put my, um, the stamp, my stamp is too big, so I couldn't fit it on here. So I just wrote it. I have awful handwriting, but anyway, so I punched a hole, put one of these, um, ring thingies in it and then put a little lobster clasp on it so that you know, whoever gets it can hang it. So I've made this one and what I think I'm going to do too. And I, this is where I need your opinion. I was going to do glossy accent just on the inner part of the circle. Um, just to give it that like 
wet glossy look honestly but I'm not sure if I should or if I should just leave it as is I think it might look better with the glossy accent if I can do it correctly <laughs> um, but let me know what you guys think because um, you know I love your opinions and I I really admire your opinions so I'm oh, looking how cute this one is oh love that so let me know if you think I should or should I do a few and come back on and show you guys uh, this one says Merry Christmas but let me know what you guys think um, and I will I'll do it if you know there's enough people that say yeah I should or just do a few and then look at the reindeer oh these are so sweet so these are my polka doodle yummies <laughs> I hope you guys like them let me know which one is your favorite if you like the card the bear the bottle cap let me know and please 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 let me know what you think about the glossy accent should I put them on the middle part just to make it look I, I don't know maybe more like a bottle cap I'm not sure. So yeah, leave me your thoughts below. I would love to hear them. I love you guys. I hope you're doing good. I hope I can continue this, you know, trend of making videos <laughs> and getting things done so that I can come on and show you. Okay. Um, I love you guys. I miss you. I'm so happy I'm back. I just hope that I am back for the long haul. All right, guys, let me know what you think and let me know what you suggest about the glossy accents. Okay, love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye.